welcome back to the channel, friends. Uh, if you've been with us for a while, you know we are still on our Baja to Alaska run, currently still in Baja. We are now going to go look for scorpions. We got stung by jellyfish. We found this cute little fruit stand on the side of the road, so we're gonna run in and see what kind of good fresh fruits and veggies they have. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what it is then. Produce for 246 pesos, which is about $12. $12? Yeah. So it's a little more expensive than like shopping at Walmart, but I like that all their produce looks like it's in good condition and you're supporting a local business. Hopefully, it tastes good. All right, guys, we made it to our next stop, which is La Ventana. It's a beautiful beach free for camping. There's palapas. So we actually just moved a couple feet down the beach because uh, when we pulled in that red truck kind of cut us off and took that palapa. So it's okay, we're gonna set up our shade here and Craig's got the poles ready. We got Kevin and Taylor. Matt is on the map with us and uh, should be a good spot for a couple of days. Okay guys, now that we have camp all set up, I'm going to make some fresh made guac. This is super easy. There's no reason why you should be buying pre-made guac in Mexico. The key is just getting fresh ingredients. So we're going to do two avocados, one Roma tomato, one jalapeno, two mini limes, and a quarter of an onion. Okay, 
Okay, then you just salt and pepper to taste. recommend going heavy on the pepper gives it a lot of flavor especially if you don't have anything like garlic or chili powder to put in stir it all together Then someone's gonna go shoot some fish for us. Oh yeah? yeah. You feeling confident in the spear fishing? Hey. Yeah. Never done it before, but yeah. Never. Well Greg had never done it before till a couple weeks ago. I'm an expert now. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much every beach we've been on has its share of stuck vehicles. And we have another one here. Greg's gonna help push. What about you? Four? Yeah? Hi. Yeah. Hi. This one? Hold on. Come here. 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 So, should we come a little more? Uh, hey, one, more, one more time, I think you got it. Forward. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> Adios. 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 Getting ready to go spearfishing? Yeah. Where are you going to go? Out off the point where all the fish are. I haven't done it here yet, so I don't know if they're actually fishing there. But that's where everybody's fishing. So one would assume there are fish there. Seems like a good plan. Yeah, it seems like a good plan. If it works, then we'll have fish for dinner. It's at least choppy, too. Good luck. How'd it go? Uh, I missed. All the stuff I wanted to shoot swam away from me. Really? And you didn't see it? Like, what did you... I don't know, there was something right, like right here. And when I shot at them, their, their dorsal fin came up and like looked... I don't know if they're rooster fish. Were they gray like that? Gray with stripes? Yeah, maybe. There's a whole bunch of them right here. But I shot at a couple and when you shoot at them, they would like... Literally their back would go up like this and be like... These super long bites. And there's a stingray right over here. There was a stingray, a pretty stingray over there. How big was the stingray? Yikes. Doing, babe. Sending birthday messages, late birthday messages. What are you doing with it though? What is that? This is the Garment InReach Mini. <laughs> and uh, we don't have phone service here, so it's a satellite message device. Also has an SOS button on it in case of emergencies. If you need one, click the link below. <laughs> Craig's sister's birthday was yesterday and we forgot 
We don't have phone service right now, so we're using the Garmin InReach to send a message. Uh, we did a full review video on this one, so check out our channel to watch that. In other news, it's a beautiful morning. It's quite calm out so far. Some fish. So we're going to get ready to uh, go spear fishing. I'm going to get in the kayak. Greg's going to swim. We're going to go out to that point there and see if we can get some big ones. So we walked all the way down the beach and we are setting up our gear to go spear fishing. We've got a spear gun that Greg's putting together and an inflatable pack raft that we're going to put together. Uh, it's Coca Pelly Pack Raft, we love them. So then we'll get after it. Last one is. Really? Do you know what these are called? Fish. Not really. We need an app for it. Yeah. Oh, he's got some gnarly teeth up on him. Hopefully, he doesn't bite me. Still alive? I don't think so, but you never know. Whoa! Yeah. That's a good kind. That's a good kind? Yeah. We only got one of those. We're gonna have to wipe the table, I guess. Yeah. It goes downhill from there. The first one I got is decent. Huh? Yeah? All right. <laughs> is that the next biggest one? I don't know. I'm just pulling them out. They had spikes, I hope right? Not. Yeah. Oh, the tops, yeah. They did have spots when they were yeah. alive. Oh, spots. How many are there? Five. Yeah? Uh-huh. He's a little scaled. What happened? Well, they're probably beating each other up in there. I'll leave the last one for the grand reveal. Is that the smallest one? No, I think it's the next largest one. Yeah? Uh, okay. All right. Yep. I think that was the smallest one. <laughs> So is the first one a different type of fish? Yeah. All, All right. right. There you go. That was, that was the first one. Yeah. So those. Nice. Those two. They were all this size. Yeah. Well, That'd yeah. In a perfect world. <laughs> no more of these. <laughs> no more of these either. Yeah. Well, I'll this cook one's them. a little right. Yeah. This one was probably that a one's just skinny. This one's chunky. Yeah, that one's chunky. Yeah. There were more. These are. I saw several more of those, and I let them be this time. That's good. The uh, fishing was quite dangerous too. Uh, we got stung by jellyfish, multiple kinds. Orange ones hurt the most though. Uh, but I saw probably four or five different kinds out there. Saw an eel. Oh. It's so a lobster, which I'm not allowed to take the lobster, so I didn't, although I could it very easily. And I think that's about it, but my face is kind of stinging still. I got hit across the forehead and right in here, so hopefully that mellows out soon. All right, guys, we've got the fish all gutted and ready to cook, so I'm just going to pan fry them with some butter, salt, pepper, and... And we'll make some fish tacos. How are they? Not worth the effort. 
but tasty. Ghost stories. We are now going to go look for scorpions. With the black light. El Scorpio. I don't think that's how you say it. Los Scorpions. What are you guys doing? Scorp <laughs> Scorpions. We're gonna go uh, look for scorpions. Telling ghost stories because we can't see. What did we find? What is it? Poop sock. <laughs> we saw lots of trash. A poop sock. Possibly human remains, but no scorpions. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, I'm making a mess. It's too early. <laughs> We are getting geared up to go snorkeling. I'm wearing Greg's other wetsuit, so it's huge, but it's pretty cold still. The water is, so it's not really like swimsuit weather. And jellyfish everywhere. And there's jellies everywhere. Greg got stung in a couple places yesterday. He said it doesn't feel good, and I'm not looking forward to that. So I'm actually going to put my swim cap on, so I'm going to look super dorky. We'll show you guys in a second uh, the full getup. All right, we got swim cap, snorkel mask, neck gaiter, because this wetsuit's big, so I'm trying to keep the jellies from getting down in there. And booties. So pretty much the only thing that they could sting would be like my cheeks or my mouth or my hands. We only have one pair of gloves and I'm gonna have Greg wear those because they're pretty much too big for me. Greg's gonna have all the same stuff except for no swim cap uh, and he'll have gloves. Hopefully we see some cool stuff and don't get stung by the jellyfish. No jellies. Well, yeah, minimal jellies. I think he might have got hit on the chin, but we did see some. Um, Nothing compared to yesterday. Yeah, and we saw them before they stung us, so that's nice. I hit, I hit one with my hand, but it didn't see me. I just felt like the shape of it, and then I saw it, and it went away. And then Greg pointed out a couple as we were swimming so we could avoid it. So, yeah, it's a cool reason. We saw a lot of fish. We saw uh, a lot of reef. Didn't see any lobsters today. <laughs> no, but it's all right. Or eel. It's not the biggest trumpet fish you've ever seen, though. That thing is enormous. They're not trumpet fish. Oh, yeah, whatever they are. They still look like trumpet fish. Yeah, pretty cool. All right, we're all packed up from snorkeling. Got a bunch of wet stuff that will dry later. And we are leaving La Ventana now. No hot springs this time. Uh, if you guys want to see us soak in the hot springs, check out. Was it Baja episode three maybe? <laughs> I can't remember. Uh, we did it last time we were here um, and it is fun but it's pretty hot and we're looking to get to La Paz and meet back up with Mathers on the map and camp at play and take a look day tonight. We just got to the Walmart in La Paz and there's always guys like in the grocery store parking lots that offer to clean your van and we've always said no but it's actually in really bad shape. It's pretty filthy so we said yes this time. Uh, you guys can see how dirty it is. Absolutely disgusting. Uh, that didn't even come off. <laughs> it's on there. Uh, which means we're going to lose our buena suerte message on the back but that's alright. We'll show you how it looks when we get back. All right, folks, we are back from the shopping. Not too shabby. 
They obviously don't do the top because it's too tall. But 750 and they don't have power water, I'd say you did a pretty darn good job. Now that we're all restocked on groceries, we're gonna wander around downtown La Paz and see if we can find some food. We're looking for tacos, some elote, and of course, wrap it up with some ice cream. The best part about eating corn, you get to see it again later. Nice, <laughs> <laughs> that Home Depot bucket. Look anywhere. We are finished up in the city of La Paz and headed out to Playa Tecolote, which is about 15 minutes outside of town. Well, it says Google says 30, but it's faster than that. And uh, it's free camping, it's a beautiful beach, hopefully not too crowded on a Monday night. The beach. Why I take a look hey. This one's a good one. We got Mathers on the map, as you know, and we picked up a new crew. Pretty Drew. What's going on over here? I'm sucking bugs out the van. What did we learn this trick from? Pretty sure it was Van there that told us. Yeah. You ever get lots of little gnats in your van? Take the uh, screen off, turn your lights off, and use a headlamp right at the fan, and it'll suck them all out. Turn the fan on out. Yeah, okay, <laughs> yeah, true. How many nights in Baja, babe? 49, but today is day 50, and guess what? What? It lands on Taco Tuesday. What? We're gonna celebrate. <laughs> this is our journal of every place we've slept on this trip so far. We've made notes like dog fights, policia, donkeys. Bayanas did not see. <laughs> Highly detailed and scientific. <laughs> big fish for fish taco Tuesday. Preferably it won't fit in the back. <laughs> Greg's gonna try to fish off the point again. So good luck. So I've just been uh, <clears throat> sitting outside the van getting some work done. Editing an issue of Rootless Living magazine. If you haven't read it check it out. It's pretty awesome. And Greg is already walking back up the beach. It's probably only been an hour maybe since he left so he either got really cold or he got a big fish so we're gonna find out say i said it's a little sharky today you saw sharks no i got him <laughs> that's record wow setter. look at that guy yeah wait slow down dang it's kind of pretty. Wow, yeah. look at that. No, yeah, it's a record. I like his colors. Yeah, he's pretty colors. Oh. Yeah? That's top notch work right there. This is like three times the size of anything I've gotten so far. Yeah, he's huge. Look at those teeth. Yeah, he might be alive still. They have a tendency to live forever. All right, well, you get to work on this one real quick. So it's, it wasn't really sharky. No, it's not sharky. Okay. <laughs> the time has come. For Kevin and Taylor to leave us. We've been caravanning with these guys for probably, what would you say, two weeks? Probably. On and off? Yeah. But they're gonna go back to surf. We're gonna stay here and keep heading north. So, yeah. until next time. I know, maybe we'll catch up with you guys in San Diego. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, we'll safe travels. Yeah. We'll see you again one way or the other. For sure. That's yeah. how it always goes.
we just finished cooking up our fish tacos. I got a second one. I don't know if you got got that or not. No, I hadn't told them. So Greg I'm got a second smaller. one this afternoon. Quite a bit of fish though, and we did um, some Tony Cacciatore seasoning and a little bit of this uh, Chipotle Picante Cremosa salsa. This stuff was really good when we opened it and now it's like <laughs> totally on fire. Hot. But this is the first time he's gotten these fish and we both decided they're much better. Less fishy, less mushy. They have more like actual meat texture to them which is nice. Did they both or was it just the big one? No, I think they both do. But yeah, overall Fish taco success. Yeah, so the flies are gnarly here today. Yeah. We're gonna head north tomorrow. p.m. on a Taco Tuesday. I don't know if you can see it. The two little lights are our neighbors. Getting their party on. Driving to Mexico, keep an eye out for speed bumps. Sometimes they're hit it. I jumped one at like 40 miles an hour the other day. Got a little wild. Those ones didn't seem like anything broke though. Have a good one.